In this video, we're going to look at reliability, validity, and accuracy. We're going to cover these three, reliability, validity, and accuracy, as well as talk about the difference between causation and correlation. So firstly, reliability is about getting consistent results. So you want results that are all very similar to each other. Now, only through repetition are we able to assess whether something is reliable or not. This is why we usually repeat experiments three times. But having repetition does not necessarily mean that the results are reliable. It's only if the results are all close to each other that we can say that our experiment is reliable. So for example, here are two different sets of data that could have been got for the experiment that I've been using as an example, uh, dissolving sugar in water of different temperatures. Now this first set of results, you can see that all the numbers, so for 20 degrees, the numbers are very close to each other, 59, 56, 54. So we've only got five degrees difference over the three trials. And for 30 degrees, we've got 49, 46, 48. So we've only got three degrees difference for the three trials. So they're all very close to each other. These are therefore reliable results. In the second set of results here, I've got for 20 degrees at 67, 42, 59 seconds, and for 30 degrees, 42, 50, 54 seconds. So in the first one, there's more than 20 seconds difference between them, and in the second one, there's about 15 seconds. You can see that the averages are the same. So if I was to plot the averages, I'd still get the exact same graph. However, the results that I've got are unreliable. Validity is whether you're measuring the thing that you set out to measure or the value that you're trying to test. So what you need to ask here is the procedure you're using, does it allow you to test the relationship effectively? And have you controlled enough of the variables so that they don't become confounding variables. Now, confounding variables is when you don't control a controlled variable uh, and it stuffs up your results. So you can see here, we've got two uh, targets. In the first target, the results are invalid because they're not testing what we're trying to test. And in the second, they're valid, so they're on the mark. Now, if a test is unreliable, so if you've got unreliable results, you cannot have validity. So you both have to have the result, uh, the controlled variables controlled, as well as have a reliable experiment, being that the results that you've got are all close together. Accuracy has to do with whether you're getting the right number and the equipment that you use to get that number. So we need to ask yourself, are you using the right tool for measuring this? And do the results that you've got make sense? So for example, a, using the gauge on the side of a beaker is one way to measure the volume of water. It would be more accurate if I were to use a measuring cylinder. And it would be even more accurate if I was to use a volumetric pipette, which is a very accurate uh, piece of equipment for measuring volume. Now causation is what we're trying to show when we do these experiments. We're trying to show that one variable, the independent variable, is causing the other variable or the dependent variable. Uh, in this diagram here, we've got uh, the dry, hot and sunny weather. So the summer weather causes ice cream sales as well as causing sunburn. So there's a direct relationship between those two. There is not a direct relationship between the ice cream sales and the amount of sunburn. They occur at the same time, but they don't have any effect on each other. We call this cause uh, correction. We call this correlation. So when two variables occur together but aren't directly related to each other, and you can see here that there is a correlation between autism numbers and organic food sales over the last 20 years. This does not necessarily mean that autism is causing people to buy organic food or that 
buying organic food is causing autism. This is just something that happens to be occurring at the same time. So there's a correlation between these two values. In this video, we've looked at reliability, being that your results are all close to each other, and repetition being the way that you assess the reliability. We've looked at the validity, making sure that you're testing what you set out to be testing and that you've controlled all your variables. Accuracy, that you're using a good method to get accurate results, as well as using good equipment to do that and make your measurements. And the difference between causation and correlation, where causation is one thing causing another thing, a direct relationship, while correlation, there may be an indirect relationship or perhaps no relationship.